the new HStack and VStack beta functions will blow your mind. March 16th, 2022, 14 new functions in Microsoft 365 Excel. Now, right now, they're only in beta. And I know a lot of people, including myself at Highline, don't have Office 365 or even beta. But I got to show you something amazing. Now, actually, Bill Jell and Mr. Excel just sent me this list. And he has a great video he just posted today. I have a link up in the corner on all 14 functions. Now, I'll post some videos in the upcoming weeks about all of them. But right off the bat, I noticed VStack and HStack because those two functions are going to change how we do single cell reporting. Now, I have lots of videos about very complex array formulas to create reports with total rows and field names at the top. But VStack and HStack, they are going to make those single cell reports so much easier. Now, let's go over to the sheet single cell report. And all I want to do is create a two-column table with a unique list of employee names, the total sales, with field names at the top, and a total row at the bottom. Now, I've already added some conditional formatting here, and I'm not going to show you that in this video. But let's look at, one step at a time, HStack and VStack. There it is. It's that simple. We simply put in some arrays, and it will stack the items up horizontally. Now, I just want this to be the first row. So I'm simply going to select a single cell. That's one of the field names, comma. There's the other. Close parentheses. And now, look at that. I have the field names at the top. Now, before we do our single cell formula, let's look at HStack a second time to create the inside part of the report. We're going to use sort and then unique and point it to the employee column. Control shift down arrow, control backspace, close, close. And I actually could check this because HStack, if it just has one item, it'll spill that one item. Back in the top cell, F2. Now we're not going to use let here, even though we should because we're repeating formula elements. But let's just see how this HStack works, comma. Array 2, this is where I need the sum for each employee. So sum ifs in the sum range, we'll put sales column, control shift down arrow, control backspace, comma, criteria range. We have to repeat employee column, control backspace, comma. And for criteria, that's where I control V. That's the unique list of sorted employees that will instruct sum ifs to get a total sales for each one of those employees. So now when I close on that, HStack joins those two columns. Now we used to use choose or switch or ifs, but now we can just use HStack. Now let's highlight and copy all of this Control C. And now I'm going to backspace, backspace, and Enter. Because in the top cell, we really want a spilling complete report, so F2. So the field names have to be above. And below it, in a vertical stack, we have to use that as the first array, comma, array 2, control V. Now close parentheses and Enter. That's absolutely amazing. But we can add a total row easily enough, F2. At the end, we type a comma. And for array 3, HS tab. The first item I want in the total row is simply the word total in double quotes. Then the second item I want is the sum of the entire sales column. And without using let and allowing repeated formula elements, that is still totally amazing. Now, if I copy these three employee names down, 60,000 rows, that formula has no problem. Control Z. If I change and add a bunch of new employees, just like that, it updates. Control Z, 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 Z. Now I can hear our teammate recalc or die saying, hey, you typed that out linearly. Well, here it is. I used Alt-Enter to add some line breaks to make it easier to read. 
Also, if we want to be efficient, we really should use let and bring the columns and the field names in and then build the rest of the formulas based on the names that we gave each variable. When I hit Enter, the single cell report spills below. All right, in this video, we saw the amazing new beta functions, SDAC and HDAC. Be sure to go check out Mr. Excel's video, and I'll have more videos about these amazing new functions coming up. All right, we'll see you next video.